Hey guys, it's your girl Jade. Um, I actually meant to post a video a lot sooner. Um, as you can tell, my surroundings are different. I'm at my sister's house, so I have nowhere to put my Kindle, so it's a little bit shaky. I'm also losing my voice. Um, I ended up having a sinus infection, which led to bronchitis. And then just the allergies go are going haywire, so this is the after effect of all that. But um, another, if this video is going to be another paranormal happenings, just recent stuff. Um, I've recently been driving home from work or driving to work or somewhere else, and my car will start to smell like coffee. Now, there is nothing in my car that will that smells like coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't drink it. Uh, the smell is okay. But there's no reason that my car should smell like it. Um, another one was I was in my room. Uh, my roommate was not home. And I had my cat laying on the bed with me. She was up underneath the blanket. And all of a sudden, my door flies open. So I was like, okay, I'll attribute that to the wind or the heat just came on and it blew my door open. Um, behind my door, I have like a bag of grocery bags. You know how some people keep them and use them for the trash can in the bathroom or they'll have a little trash can beside their desk and use it for that. Well, that's what I keep them for. Um, well, I started hearing rustling noises coming from behind my door. I'm like, okay. My cat is under the blanket with me. The other cat is downstairs. He doesn't come upstairs, really. So, uh, yeah, there's no explanation for that. So, my cat gets out from underneath the blanket. Or the cat, not my cat. Um, and she looks behind the door. And this cat just flips the fuck out and takes off out of my room. So, I'm like, okay, there's something back behind my door. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> um... Uh, there was, this one happened actually to, oh, these past two ones actually happened over the past couple of days. Um, both times I was going into work. Uh, one of them, I saw this white figure like run from the woods and it just disappeared right when it got in front of my car. Kind of freaked me out because I was just, I really wasn't paying attention. And just to see this white figure just bolt, like dart across the road out of the woods and then the other one was this, like, bright, like, bright as hell, white orb comes down from the sky and into my car and disappears. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't get a bad feeling from this. So, you can stay in my car, but it'd be nice if you give me a sign about who you are, what you want. Yeah. Um... Then there was another one. This all happened basically in the past month. Like the month of January. This all happened. Um, I was driving home the other night. And it was one of my later shifts. Because I've been having a lot of early shifts uh, this week. So I'm guessing it was last week. When I still had my later shifts. Um, I'm listening to music. I have my windows up. And I play the same CD like all the time in my car it's like the same six cds so of course i know um the music uh the words what noises and everything like that and all of a sudden i hear like right here is somebody just go whoosh and i it was cold night so it was like it's like 20 like high 20s so i had the heat going at 90 in my car because like I said in previous videos, I'm a smoker, so I'll roll the window down, smoke, and still stay a little bit warm while this cold air is coming into my car. But um, after I hear this whoosh, like it basically sounded like somebody just went whoosh. I'm like, okay, whatever. Have fun in my back seat. Um, you know the noise that like Coke bottles make or water bottles when you like guzzle it down and then let the air back in it, suddenly it makes that pop. That hap that comes from the back, my back seat. I'm like, okay. And that's been going on for the past two weeks is that every time I'm in my car, I hear that pop. 
So I'm like, okay, I don't know if I have a bottle in my car. I know I have some cups back there, but I don't know if I have a bottle in my car. Because I'm usually good about taking those out because, like, I'm not done with them. Take them up to my room, finish them, because I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be thirsty and I have a bottle of water or whatever sitting on my little nightstand. And then I'll throw it away in the morning when I wake up. But um, my car, my heat at 90, it gets really warm in my car. But in my seat, it felt like it was that high 20s outside. I could not get warm. So I spent the 15-minute drive home freezing my ass off with this heat blaring. And I know the heat's blaring because I can put my hand up to it and basically burning my hand. So, yeah. It's been really interesting the past couple of weeks. I don't know what's going on. Um, and then I'm also getting a little bit worried because my daughter is now hitting that age. As some kids do, like a lot of kids will see things when they're younger. Every kid does. Uh, it's their imaginary friend, old relative. Parents just chalk it up to imagination. Unless they've been through... Or they know, they they see spirits and things like that. Um, my daughter decided to inform me. She is nine, uh, almost ten. So she's getting close to that age of hitting puberty. Which uh, most people that I know that deal with the spirit world, that's when it made a whole hoo-ha. Like, bam, I'm back in your face. Um, she informed me that... She has been hearing breathing in her bed. And it's not the cat because the cat's with me. And she'll be sitting, laying there uh, watching a video and all of a sudden just hear someone breathing. Just laying in her bed with her, just breathing. I'm like, okay, this is your, I hope you're not like me. But uh, at least if she does have... If she is the lighthouse beacon, whatever that I am, I know how to deal with it and I can help her through that. But she says that it is her Mima. My mom does watch over us. She's always around. I've seen her. So um, she lets us know she's around by like the smell of peppermint. Or she'll actually make herself known by showing herself. Things like that. So anyway, um, I had meant to post this earlier, but like I said, all the being sick and everything, yeah, it just, it did not happen. Um, any, and tomorrow night, depending on certain circumstances, I may be doing a collab with a uh, old friend of mine. Um, we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't get done tomorrow, then I'll have to set it up for a later date to get done. But anyway, I love you guys. Peace. Mwah.